Welcome back. In SolidWorks 2011, we've got the option to configure a global variable, which can be very convenient. In my graphic area, I've got a simple plate. It's got two mounting holes that keep a constant diameter and position from these three edges. The length and width have dimension names length at sketch 1 and width at sketch 1. I've got a height dimension at boss extrude 1. These values are controlled by a global variable. Let's go to equations. And here's the global variable a, assigned a value of 1. The length equals a multiplied by 100, the width is a multiplied by 50, and the height is a multiplied by 10. Let's see how we can incorporate this variable into the design table. Let's go to Insert, Tables, Design Table, Accept, and Cancel Out. OK. I'm going to create three configurations now. Let's just make the font a little larger so it's easier to see. A equals 1, and A equals 0.75. The third configuration will be A equals 1.5. Now let's insert the variable here. Be sure to enter the syntax correctly. Dollar symbol, value, at symbol, variable name, at symbol, equations, no spaces. Here I'm going to enter 1. Next is 0.75 and third is 1.5. Click outside the table to accept the changes and close it. OK, table has generated three configurations. And here they are. Let's take a look. This concludes our lesson about using a global variable.